what's going on Sagittarius and thank you guys so much for tuning in okay my loves so let's see what is going on in regards to love this month now this video is going to be geared towards the first person that you think of okay how are they feeling about you what's in their thoughts towards you and how do they truly feel deep down and then we'll do some advice at the end okay how is this person feeling about you Sagittarius Okay, let's get one more card here. All right. Okay, guys, the energy that we have here is the page of pentacles in reverse. So this is going to be the energy that this person has towards you. Uh, behind that, we have the page of swords, the queen of wands, five of cups in reverse, ace of wands in reverse. Um, honestly, I see a person that wants to be very direct, a person that has a very, very strong energy. Uh, towards you a strong passion towards you but there's something that they're not quite getting off the ground um i feel like there there's something that's being said there's something that's trying to be built and a, and a person is trying to honestly do it but they're not getting the results that they want okay at least not at this moment so the first card here guys is what this person is saying to you if you guys are not speaking then this is what they would be saying to you if you were in front of them we have the ace of swords so this talks about just new beginnings cutting out bullshit having a new beginning okay moving forward so why is this ace of swords here queen of cups in the reverse six of cups seven of wands queen of swords temperance card in the reverse two of wands in the reverse two of cups in the reverse I feel like someone would be lost without you guys, but someone made a bad decision. Some poor, you know, decisions were made and, you know, some, I, I feel like something got in the way. I think that this person is trying to take a very logical approach towards you, but someone is just like, look, my soul doesn't feel right without you. I don't feel right without you. My path is not right without you. Okay, so there's very strong sentiment here. I see someone who's very like in their feelings and looking at ways or kind of like how things used to be. All right. Now, with what's in their thoughts towards you, we have the four of wands. So this is stability. This is a family. This is, um, you know, having a very solid foundation. Why is this four of wands here in their thoughts towards you? The devil card. Two of Wands. A person wants stability, but there's this toxic energy around where someone's just not on the right path. Either they think you're toxic and not on the right path and they want stability, or they're the ones that are toxic and not on the right path. You know, it also takes two to tangle. So whatever this is, it's like there, there's some sort of toxic energy here where a person has to redirect their route, okay? It's like, look, if there's foul play, if there's manipulation, if there's cheating, somebody's just, they, they don't want to be involved, whether that's you or them, okay? How they feel deep down inside towards you, we have the King of Swords here, okay? So that could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy, but let's see why this is popping up. Emperor in the reverse, Six of Wands, Nine of Swords in the reverse. There, it's all a fucking facade. What they think about deep down is what caused the problem, what secret came out because of the poor choices or decisions that were made. Um, I bet you this person is walking around kind of like, they don't have to necessarily be cold towards you, but they kind of have like a calm, cool, cold demeanor. Um, and I think it's really out of pride, okay? Um, this Nine of Swords in the verse, I'm gonna pull another card on it. But this person, it's a facade. It's, it's to keep appearances. It's, it's not how they truly feel. And they know deep down inside they, they're playing themselves in a sense, okay? We have the Hermit card. 
this person also knows that when it comes down to it, you're not going to lose sleep if you need to be alone. Like you, you'll, you'll pick yourself back up. Okay. You're, you're able to do it. All right. So they feel like you're really healing from something or that you're just being very strong and, and just not being with the shits. Okay. All right, guys, the next card here is how this person is, is moving throughout life. Like how do their peers view them? How do their friends and colleagues view them? Okay. Um, like, just just how are they living life they're very unhappy okay hanged man they're going with the flow they're doing what feels natural in life but that doesn't mean that they're happy they're at a point where they're not trying to force too many things but they're unhappy that something is not working out and i feel like they're at a point where they're accepting that Okay. Um, I think that this person, for those who the you know this will resonate with, could be open to other people, but it's more so just to heal and forget as opposed to actually like build. Okay. So their external influences and love is our next card. Now this could be someone else they're seeing. This could be you know uh, someone talking in their ear and kind of. Um, pushing them to make certain decisions, okay? But we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's some, like, outside of you, there's something that's just not working out for them. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Moon card in the reverse. So there, there's a lot to this. This person definitely does have offers, but it doesn't do anything beneficial for them. It's not something that's truly wholesome. Um, this is when, you know, someone kind of sees different people, but it, it's not good people. It's not the person. So, yeah, there could be other people that they talk to, but I think if anything, it's it's more painful because it wakes them up even more. Okay. A lot of people have different mentalities when it comes to love. I'm Taurus. You guys are Sagittarius. So I know that we're going to view love differently as well. Okay. But one of the things, you know, I've heard people say before is, you know, if you want to get over someone, go out, have fun. And that can totally be a Sagittarius thing. And, and I think, yeah, it's great to go out and have fun. And, and I myself, you know, I'll do that. I'll distract myself. But what I try not to do if I'm truly like hurt over a person, if I'm still in love with somebody, I can't see myself really like sleeping with someone else or, or, or getting to that point only because it's just a reminder that it's not the person that I'm in love with. And to me, that actually puts me in even more pain. And that's what this person is going through. There's other people there, but if anything, that's just making them realize how fucked up a situation may be. Okay, so there's offers there, but it's nothing that is suitable for them. Okay, with how they're going to feel towards you in the next six to eight weeks, <clears throat> we have the Six of Swords. All right, so moving away from a tough situation. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. <coughs> There's going to be something that happens where I think you guys find another opportunity and you take that opportunity. Whether it's another person or you saying, look, I got to get my life together. I need to focus on my business. I need to focus on this project. I need to focus on this tour I'm about to do, whatever it is. So they feel that you pick something or someone else. Okay, so if you guys are single or you're in a place where you're open to meeting people, um, I definitely think that this is a month that that's going to happen. And I think that it's going to hurt somebody. Okay, but I don't think all of this happened for no reason. I think that, you know, someone got caught with something and, you know, when you make a bed, you have to lie in it. All right. So let's get some cards of advice. How do you want to navigate through all of this? Okay. If this is resonating with you guys so far, there is a link in, or a few links in the description below to donate. Thank you so much for those that do. It definitely helps so much. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 I'm also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. Okay.
Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You have the Death card. And you have the Devil card, okay? Very strong energy. It's time to release the bullshit. It's time to release the burden. You got to let it go. You got to let the toxicity go. It's done. Se acabo. All right. It's done. You're going to get an unexpected love offer that it, it, I feel like it's going to breathe life into you that you forgot you had. Okay. Judgment card in the reverse. Not only is it a good call not to go towards the toxic thing, but spirit is like, never go back. Eight of swords in the reverse. See, you saw things for what it is. It's time to take off the blindfold. You are powerful. You can face this demon. Okay. Why is this death card here? Six of pentacles in the reverse. You have to put an end to that imbalance to what's making you unhappy. Um, I know that this is something that could have been hard for a lot of you, but with the Four of Wands, this is what's pushing you towards stability. A door had to close, you know, losses had to be felt, but deep down, you know that there's a bigger purpose to this. There's a bigger picture, all right? So this is gonna be good. You just have to love yourself, choose the right path, and don't let anyone stress you out if you don't need to be stressed, all right? Sag, I love you guys so much. If you need any sort of uh, information or getting in touch with me or anything, everything is in the description below. Take care, guys.